So we pulled up to K-Pot Korean Barbecue and Hot Pot in Tucker. Listen, if you're looking for your Hot Pot Korean Barbecue experience, pull up here. For one, this place is decorated real cute. I was like, oh, this is nice. A little sparkly lights. Everything was so shiny. What I also like about this one is that they have hot prepared foods at the bar and a big sauce line. My friend was bragging on her little sauce that she made. She put it on everything. And also some sides like kimchi and vegetables. They have a nice drink menu as well. And any of their cocktails you can get in this big old tower. Listen, we was going in on this tower. We put a little dent in it, but we still didn't get to finish it. But that Blue Lagoon was good. Also, they have an extensive meat and vegetable selection for the Korean barbecue. We had a bunch of vegetables, shrimp, short ribs, chicken. I had to get the short rib every time. The marinated meats were amazing. The shrimp was amazing. Amazing. The flavors were good. And meanwhile, my friend was over there putting all them vegetables on there. I was like, I'm cooking all the meats. I had everything, okay? The Hot Pot also had an extensive menu. There's like five or six different broths. I had the Thai Tum Young. It was sweet, spicy, so much flavor. My friend had a mushroom broth, which she also liked. We had all types of vegetables, mushrooms, Napa cabbage. There were dumplings, lobster rolls, shrimp. My friend had all type of seafood and stuff in hers. I had to get the thin sliced ribeye to cook in there, noodles. I had put the dumplings in there, a lobster roll. Everything soaked up that amazing broth. It had so much flavor. These shrimp dumplings were fired. Check them out.